Right, welcome back to the start of update 5 <coughs> on the uh, Ryfield T3485 group build hosted by myself. Um, yeah, so you can see what I've done from the last end of episode 4. I've just stuck the um, cupola on, the hatches for the cupola. I'll zoom in and have a look. I'll have a look what I've done. So, yeah, I've just attached them. They're not quite finished weather, I think I just need to dull them down slightly, yeah. And on the rear of a turret I decided to add three, three bags. Made some straps out of uh, PVA, uh, PVA, out of um, Tamiya tummy, tummy tape. Painted them brown and uh, give them a slight wash. And um, darkened dark the brown leather down and we've added them to it. So, I've got just something a little bit different instead of a bedroll. It's going to pop off there if I don't push that down on that. Right, so next what we're going to do now, I know we have some rust streaks on there, but I wanted to add some just, you know, coming from down from the um, grab handles and things like that. You can see faintly on, I don't want them um, <laughs> I just want a faint mark. If you can see them faint, oh yeah, that's just been up to there. You see the faint mark running from here and there, and it's just like one round the um, looks like a pistol port and a viewing access as well. So it's a little bit on there, just to I don't want a lot, I'm not going to put it everywhere, just a few runs here and there. So, what I'm going to use for that is I'm going to use a dark streak rust which I had on for the video of the rust, which is the uh, Wilder product again, which is NL07, and some. Uh, all the rest in it to uh, clean it up. So let me just give this a good bloody shake. We shall do it off, off camera with all that as well. So, which we have, I'll take it from the lid, that's all I need. Take it sinners. So I'm just going to use a small brush, I don't need a lot on the brush. Let me just see if I'm going to come from, let's see this. Lifting hook here, let's just leave it on there for a while and maybe just a bit round this pistol port. And a little bit from this one here where the track is running, it's rusty as well, so we'll have a bit from. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but we'll just have a run down there. As well, like so. Maybe it's a bit too much on that one, but it's not a problem. As you know yourselves, you can take a bit of thinners and clean it off. So let me just start with this one first by brushing it down, bringing it down, right down. See, I just want, to, I just want a thin. You can hardly see it, but it's there, if you know what I mean. Just to blend in with the other rust pack, with the other rust streaks. Let's just clean this big one up. I can get round here to do it, so let's just... Difficult to do from this angle, let me see if I can twist myself around a bit further. taking too much off there but I can also add a little bit back onto it now. Let me just do it from the side here so I can actually get a run that I want. That's more like it. And then I can just narrow that. And then round where the pistol port is as well. So that's all I want is 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 a thin 
unwashed translucent rust tone on it as well. I did it on the other side, as you can see, it, it dries like it dries like that. So that's which is what I want. So I'm not gonna do it everywhere, I'm just gonna do a few handles here and there. So we'll carry on with this. I'll start doing the finish off the upper hole and um once that's done I'll uh, get back to you again. So it won't be long, see you in a bit. Right, we're back. I've just finished this the uh, with the with the oils with the uh, rust effects. Just did a few small streaks, uh, nothing too much. Let's just zoom in and see where we are. Oh, I mean, I got it right first time. It's just subtle, nothing, nothing drastic. See, I've added some bags as well. It's nothing, mainly on the on just very faintly as well. Nothing. It's got enough on I think anyhow, but I'll put that any more. But yeah, I've just got some little subtle subtle ones like I mean that's a bit too heavy, I'm not too sure, but there's you know, all this round here, a little bit onto there, uh, onto the lower hull, as you can see from round here, just some off the grab handles. Um yeah, just that really, nothing I've got to say it's got enough I think anyhow, so there's that as well. What's not is I have to paint that little bit of bag there, there's a bit of uh, primer showing. Shouldn't be a problem. Yes, yeah, so I've, I've done a little bit on the front, very faintly, you can see coming down from this corner as well. Uh, and what I've done, why I've been, <coughs> when I'd finished that, I thought I'd just try something. Uh, so I did the, if you can see now with that side of the turret it's dustier uh it's like rain marks dust marks just coming from the turret very very faintly same again down here and along this top of this fender which is like a dust so I'm just, let me see better if i do it that way so you've got that side there just faint streaks right down the sides and and there it's like rust and muck together that's just like rust and they dust again and on the turret, same things again with the turret, just like almost like rain marks. So we've done that on the turret. So I'm going to do the same on this side, make it look a bit dirtier. So what I was using, I, <coughs> I used this grey splatter, <coughs> sorry, dirt from Wilder, which is <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> NL30. Oh yeah, NL30, and some enamel thinners which is settled, which I've got there, it's clear at the top and all the crap's at the bottom now, so I'll just continue using that. And a fine paintbrush, which you've just seen me have, that one there, a little really fine one, <coughs> excuse me. So all I did was get a very, very thin amount, let me just, I'll just drag it, let's say, from, maybe from here, just on the middle of the thing, it's just a very faint line. You can hardly see. You can see that. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit more. You can see just beside the um, yeah. Let's leave it a few minutes, a couple of seconds. It's just normal streaking. Nothing any different than anybody else would do. Got a bit of uh, thinners on the brush. I'll just see. Uh, I'm just see what I can do from this angle. And we're just going to drag it down until we get what we want. Faint. It's just like a rain mark. You can hardly tell on there, but once this thing is <coughs> evaporates, we'll get that, that effect again. And on the, on the bottom, I used, as you can see, on the it's got a darker shade into the corners. I used. This dark, dark street effect, dirt effect, which is NL23. It's another Wilder product. I thought I'd just try these on this on this build from his uh, from one watching his uh, KV1 build. So I'm just took some bits off that, added to mine. Yeah, so that's what I use. Because um, you can blend both enamel base, so you can blend them together. So I'm starting off with the black. Uh, let me just see if I can do it before we go any farther on that one. Let me just get that streak sorted. I'm not quite happy with that one at the moment. Let me just drag it down a bit further. 
So yeah, so I'm just going to go around randomly doing that with the thinners and with the with the uh, grey splatter. So with the fender at the bottom, I uh, let's just give it a good shape. And it's settled now. See what's going to be the best angle. <laughs> Let's just see if I can bring it up to there. Right, so I'm going to do that little fender there. A little bit of shape. Right, that should be enough for what I need. Let's just wash my brush off with the muck on. So all you're going to do basically is, is into the corners, like underneath. Just fairly along the back there. Bit more difficult to do, things like that. Right, and once for an old brush with a bit of thinners on again, and some of the grey splatter again on your brush. Not a lot, not a lot. And. <laughs> I think that's enough, so I'll put too much here. I'm just going to blend this all together in a second when I get off this brush. Wet blend because they're both enamel, so you can blend them in together. Touches more, I think. Where's the brush with that? See, so, yeah, I always put less on to start with, and then if I need to add any more, I can. It's just I find it easier to add than take away. I know you can take things off with thinners, which is fair enough, but I like to play it cautiously. So, I'll probably still see where I'm at. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Just keep blending until you're satisfied with. The result that you want. So when it dries, it'll come out sort of like that. Just a rough dust on there. Could have blended this in slightly better, but uh, that's going to be hidden, which I forgot all about when I was doing it. But it's there anyhow because you can see from different angles. Uh, and this bit of you know the wood they're made I just tied some rope around it as extra <coughs> this needs a little bit of dust on it yet so this is going to sit at an angle sort of like that it'll stay like that and obviously I've got more string here that's all weathered and ready to go oh, there we go that's to tie we come back a little bit or forward sorry just to tie it to the handles there there and probably there as well so you know it's going to be fairly straightforward so that's that done on there out the way for now finished the, um, the tow cables as you can see now they've got in the eyes themselves they've got that uh, shiny metal effect where it's paint's gone right through to the bare metal now it obviously we've been used more than enough so that's what I'm doing so they're 
completely finished now there we go keep getting where we are there we go same with that one as well that's done I've added this is a polishing powder it's called what's it called you've seen me use it before it's the metalizer <coughs> it's just a powder same as you know what you can buy and I've just added it to the rim of both idlers small and large and a little bit on the front as you can see where things are starting to wear away straight away when it starts moving the paint will be off so on that one and on the smaller wheel as well smaller return uh, sorry smaller idler again that's got that metalizer on a little bit of weathering on there, still more to go, a little bit of dust and all that to what like similar to the top which we're gonna do. It's not gonna be muddy muddy, but it's gonna be dusty. With a flat you know with dried mud more than wet mud. So that's that. The wheels are still the same until I get them positioned. After I've actually tried the weather on the here low hole. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. Oh sorry, when I was before we go any further, let me just zoom slightly back out so we can see where we are. Uh, On the spare track, I just did the same as you've just seen me do down there. Just the um, street grime and the uh, grass splatter and blended the uh, the track in. And I don't know if you can quite see. I've added a little bit of pencil just on the sh on the you know the, the sharp edges, the um, the guide on itself, and just a bit around the edges. Not a lot, just a little bit. And obviously, if so, I, I did show you these, I'm sure I did on the last update, but if I didn't, so I, uh, they're just on there, just hanging from them loops. I just made some uh, satchel handles with uh, tamiya tape and just brown painted it, leather brown, and just a bit of uh, weathering on top of it, not much. So I'm just going to go back and just touch that one up on the side It uh, has no paint on. Yeah, so it's coming along nicely now, and we're getting, we're starting to move a little bit. <coughs> and I've added, oh yeah, show you the, um, on the fuel can there, it isn't finished, it's just positioned, so I know where it's at. It's the uh, siphon tube. For when the siphon and the fuel out. But what, was, what I was thinking, because these, uh, these tubes, these external tanks weren't plumbed into the actual fuel line, how did they get? Fuel in there must have had a jerry can of some description to get it from there to wherever it is underneath here. On these, uh, I'm not 100% sure where the filler caps are or underneath the, the turret. They must have used some sort of container. Uh, I can't find any any information about what would they use or anything. Would they have used um, stolen jerry cans? I'm not 100% sure. If I can find a picture with one on, I'll sort of add a jerry can just to the side of it as well. Um, I'll have a read up and see if there's anything I can find out. I won't do one unless I find some sort of documented evidence that, uh, that they did use those. And then obviously we have the uh, fuel to uh, fuel and dirt, fuel and dirt um, <coughs> streaking from the uh, fillers as well. That'll be another part. And then we slowly get. So I'm just going to do all this now. The same thing with the paints uh, and the centre of the. Um, top of the hole just get that dust not so much as down below but a little bit and along the side of here this fuel can as well uh, the fenders in the front and then we can start thinking about doing the uh, the low hole so what I'll do now is I'll just say I'll just carry on with the um, using the grey splatter and the dark street grime and when I've done that I'll come back to you so this is Greg signing off and we'll see you very very soon Right, <coughs> excuse me, back again. I've added a couple of things since uh, I finished the rusting. Um, so I've added the uh, siphon tube there onto there. This isn't finished yet, but I've added it to there. Uh, so it's, like, it's going to be used. Um, all the rust is now complete, the little rust one. Let's just zoom in, let's zoom in. That's better. All the rust now is complete under the under these parts just on here. The rust runs all down here. All these and all the um, 
like rain marks and dust marks they're all finished now with the uh, as I showed you and on the top of the turret as well that's got more of a dusty a dusty effect on there as well I've got a little bit to add around the I think I may add a little bit round here I'm unsure yet um, we'll see how we go I've got the rope tied on now the, sorry the log tied on now that's fastened on with the rope and if you notice I've just done one of the um, fuel cans I'll show you how, how, how I did that shortly this is a trial error to trial and it's just a simple way to do it no, nothing too difficult and also I've done one of the um, where we are, can't see it now can we one of the I'll zoom in again if you can in one of the exhausts so it's got, like a, it's got it's got both textures it's got the gloss of the diesel and the flat of the like smoke with deposit that it leaves and how I've done that is I've used two products just two products I've used the Wilder diesel exhaust front runs effect which is this one and it's NL31 and this MIG steel uh, blue steel again blue burnt blue sit blah, 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 blah. burnt steel blue there we are there we go it's PO44 so I'll show you how we did it straightforward nothing too difficult this has been shaken it's just the camera it's just the angles of the um, let me just see if I can bring this back a little bit so we can see what we're actually doing It's quite a dark, viscous liquid. It's almost like oil to a certain degree. So there you go. Let me brush and use this. Uh, yeah, I'll use this one. So you're just going to. I'll just turn it around here a little bit so I can actually. Can we still actually see what I'm doing? Yeah. Just from underneath the exhaust, just as it fan, fans out. Too much on that brush. I'll just go inside the exhaust tube, the exhaust itself. It's dark in there as well. Let's just spread it out a bit. Right. So all you've got is that mark there. It's just that um, you know, the black mark. Let's just add it a bit more. It'll will capillary action will take it underneath, which I wanted to do. Let's just make sure that's what I want, angle wise. Okay, so we've got that. Let me clean my brush. I do we getting some new uh, fillers in there? It's a bit, a bit shabby. back on that because knowing me I will spill it and that'll take some getting up right so we've got these the pigment next the uh, burnt steel blue so all I'm going to do is put a little bit on an old brush it's an old tatty thing oh yeah it's all tatty things put a bit of pigment on the, on the end of the brush and just gently drop it round where you want it to be so you could both effects doesn't matter about the exhaust on the outside so right and while we've got this brush now we can actually start feathering just you know some of the darkness it, it the dusk you know the dust will get to it and dry it out so you've got the matte effect as well so So when that dries, you get both of them effects, you get the matte and you get the um, the shininess as well off the uh, the diesel itself. So it's fairly straightforward, nothing I don't think anybody else wouldn't do. 
instead of just using the pigments all the time I thought well I'll try that I've got that stuff to use so let's give it a whirl so right and as far as the uh, oil cans so I believe I've been told that I may be wrong that one side are just a, a container full of oil and the other side was the diesel um, Lunch sure so what I'll do now is I'll show you how I did the um, slightly different way you want to put a slightly different colour from that to this side just you know as it it may I may well be wrong but I just want to try it anyhow just to see if to, to make a definition between fuels and oils and things like that so let me get my stuff together for that so first things first is we need to use some of the what well, I used use some of this grey dirt splashes which I used for the dust remember when I did the dust with the deep shadow wash this is the same stuff I'll just give it a bit of a shake and what I'm going to do with this I'm going to get a, a clean ish Cleanish. Just want to. I want to let this down quite a lot. This. Um, this. I don't want it to. Too thick. I want it to be nice and light. So. Let's put some on here for now. And then we can just add some thinners. So where we are, can't see what I'm doing again, can you? I'm just going to add some thinners to it. As thin as possible. Still too thick, huh? Same again, dust will start collecting around the, you know, any any spilled fuel, as you know, it'll stick to like to a blanket. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to use a, you can hardly see it going on, looks wet, that's about it. And don't forget to do it around the, re down the other side of it as well. Because if you look in the reverse of the other one, uh, if you can see where we are, see we've got the dustiness again on that side as well. So don't forget to do both sides. Otherwise it'll look a bit silly when you've got one side all caked in mud and things and dust and the other side is clean. So let me just add a bit more. Just let the capillary action take the gravity, take it where it wants to go. We can't see again, can we? My apologies. I will get. I'll sack the cameraman again. Yes, yeah, so just like capillary, you know, what uh, gravity take its its uh, its way. So you run down. So what we have to do with that now is I'm going to leave that to dry for a good five to ten minutes, and then I'm going to um, add the fuel, you know, the uh, diesel stuff. But I'm going to add a little bit of um, murky water to it, which is another uh, wilder product, and a bit of rust, uh, just to colour it slightly, because it's going to be slightly different from the diesel, and uh, you know, and sometimes you got rust around the cap. Uh, or on the actual drum itself, and it'll colour it, won't it? So that's what I, that's what I'm attempting to do. I've seen somebody do it. I can't remember who it was now, but that's what I'm going to do. Attempt to do. Let's keep adding to it. If you if, it's, if you think it's too too thin, well, it's enamel. You can you know you can take it off with the um, with thinners. 
so it's not a problem if you make a mistake just take it all off and start again right so we'll leave that for 10 minutes 15 minutes or whatever just to just to just to soak in and in the meantime obviously i'll get all the rest of the stuff that i need ready for it to show you how i'm going to do it and i'll come back and we'll carry on with that so i'm back in a minute Right, so it's dried. You can see it's just like a, a thin, a very thin film of uh, dust, you know, around where the uh, fuel leaks and things and whatever that on there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'll, I'll just show you how I'm going to mix things. Let's just pop that there for a second. Oh, bottle top. So what I'm going to use is the um, the diesel stuff again. Murky water. And a bit of rust pigment. So let's get what we need out. We don't need a lot. We don't need a lot. There's probably enough of that. And this will just start to make it a bit more glossy. Two of those. And a very, very small amount of too much but we'll soon see right so we've got all those where are we at all, all those mixed on there we've got the murky water the diesel exhaust effect and the uh, rust pigment so we're just going to mix it all together So that'll do, I think. Probably a lot more than what I really need, but let's clean my brush, otherwise I'll forget. And it will sit there and sit there and go hard and be useless. Right, so let's put the lids on these two items. And like I say, I will uh, guarantee I will knock them over. So I've had all these waterproofs for quite a while. I got them from a scale model shop. I'll leave, remember I'll leave the link in the, uh, the description below. Same with the VMS pigment, the, uh, the rust pigment here. I got that from the same place. As you've seen me use these before. Right, so we've got clean thinners. And just a dirty thinner, so just to quickly change between colours if I need to. Right, so we'll bring this back up here. Just wash my hand a minute. Have a slurp of tea. I'm going to use this old, very, very finely tipped brush. I don't need it too, too wide. So I'll just take some on. If you know what I'm, doing, I'm just going to if I, can, if I can get this angle right, I can perhaps do it from this side like this. So this way, first thing is you need, need to go around the um, fuel filler cap, really. It's your first option. And around the back as well. So I want slightly different colours which I've got, which I'm happy with. Right, so we've built that up on there, as you can see. And now we just need to get a, a line of some description. A finished line, don't want it too big to run down. Doesn't matter if you go off where wood, because we're going to clean it off anyhow. I'll clean some of it off. Going to rip right down, probably onto the tow cable as well. 
and a little pool on here as well. Can the camera see that? What I'm doing on there? Can't quite see me, so yeah, so where it's run where it's run down, it's gonna make a little pool of spilled fuel or whatever there as well. And don't forget to do the the reverse, and I'll just do it over this side. Same again, just a, a line of some description. Doesn't have to be perfect. Right, so we've got that on a creamy brush. I'm just going to uh, just blend that fuel stain in a little touch. Let me see where I'm at again here. I think we can just see, I think, can't we? So I'll bring it across maybe. Yeah, we can't see better now. Yeah, just a bit of thinners on the same brush and just going to tap it and feather it out. Let's see if I can see any better on there. Let me just put it a little bit off on the side. I'll just swap brushes now to give it a clean. And we'll use this. What's this one? It's a triple zero brush. Oh. Bit of moisture on the brush, bit of uh, odorless tips or whatever you want to call it. And oh, how can I do this without? You know, we're just going to fit, you know, <laughs> just tidy the line up. Didn't take much doing. And obviously we got the uh, the dust effect underneath it, so I'm just going to try and blend the fe feather that in as well to the um, the thinners on your brush, and just gradually aim on the other side. We're going to actually just feather it outwards. And again, don't forget to do the um, the other side. You can always go back in if you're not happy. It's all enamel stuff, so it will all clean off. With a brush and some thinners. Take your time, so I'll, you know, maybe take me three or four attempts sometimes to get an effect that I really want. Right, let's go and do the other side. Off the camera a second, just uh, won't be long. And if you're not entirely happy with what you've got there, we can always go back in with the um, grey splatter and add it to it. We'll leave that to dry at the moment and I'll see what see what we dries before I decide that. that. That's you know nothing special as I suppose but I just thought I'd try some stuff. I've seen a few people do different things and I'm just trying to recreate that for myself that I like so it's not my idea. I don't claim to be my idea it's just on certain builds of certain people on YouTube I do like what they do and I try and replicate it to the best of my ability. Or sometimes I think I can add to it, I'll add to it. So we'll leave that to dry, see what it comes up like. 
and when it's dry I'll get back to you and we'll see if it needs uh, any adjustment to it. So I'll be back in about five minutes. Right we've done that, we've done the um, all the dust and the shadows and I've done a few little extra bits as well which I'll point out to you so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll zoom in and have a look. As you can see, and sorry the exhaust as well, my apologies, I'm, I'm uh, away for the fairies. I believe one of these two ports is a fuel port and the other one is for suspension. So I've just done a little dribble of uh, grease and oil coming out of the uh, out of the front there, just to something different. And, and these ones here are oil for the engine, little access hatches here. So I've just done a little, rip, uh, little run of uh, oil. And these, I shall go back to what we started off. That's what we did the um, before we oh, last last part. So we've done we've done it. It's come out quite well. I've got the dust and the uh, fuel. So this is more of a fuel. The other one's more oil. And added the um, uh, siphon. And if you look closely, I've just added a little splash. I can't really see, can you? Let me just see if I can move it up to you. Easier. I've added, where we are, you can see from the fuel, I've added a piece into the, um, wherever my finger is, where we are, in there, just a drip of oil, go, a fuel going into there, and the same on the, um, you can see, from the, from the siphon tube as well, just added that, and obviously we've, they're all both done now and finished. They'll be torn down because there's obviously uh, mud to go up there, splashes and things like that. Um, I think that's where we are at the moment. So the next step basically now is going to be the um, is the lower hull. So I'm quite happy with that. I'll, I'll leave that as it is now. I don't think I'll change anything on that. I think I've got what I want. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to start on the lower hull. So we will be using another, another um, wilder product which is the dark earth, it needs a good shake here and we need a couple of old brushes that one a couple of all these cheap brushes I'll get set up and I'll be back in a second right we're ready to go so let's see I've got two old knackered brushes because this is going to probably kill them in the end, let me just give again a quick stare from the bottom to see if there's any <coughs> some acrylic. Yes, uh, good so you can uh, thin this with water, and you know if you put too much, you can weather it with water as well, streak it, anything you want with it. So I'm just take that off there. Get myself a little jar for water. Sorry about reading really over the camera. Put some water in there. Again. So, what we're going to try and do now is get this into shot. Where we are. Mm, a little bit closer. There, we've got to be better in it. Okay, so we'll start with we'll start at the at the front. Obviously, this has got the side that's got normal guard, so we, this will get quite dirty up here. bigger brush really. Bear in mind try to keep off the uh, where you're going to fasten the um, where you're putting the wheels on. Do this in short, in short bits don't try and do it all in one go because obviously we've been acrylic it does dry quite fast so I need to put just some onto the So I think I'll enough for that way and we'll get a, a brush to knock sort of a brush like that just to dip it in the water. The cloth. And we can just sort of streak it down. Just keep adding, take it off with your brush, put it into a cloth, get some more water. Sorry if my camera's in the way, I mean I'm in the way of the camera, I apologise. 
if we really want a lot of just water in there like that and you'll get the natural flow from the water into the because I don't want it totally caked in mud if you know what I mean, I just want to remnants it's been there, it's got the mud, it's dried um, so I'm just going to add a little bit more on top of the suspension arm where you know when things would drop they would land on top of things like this wouldn't they so I'll just put a bit more on there and again do a little bit more on there just going to build it up again round here slightly this is where it's going to get a bit more muddier isn't it and have a no Okay, guys, so I'll just blend it in slightly, just a tap and motion more than anything else, just to blend it. We don't want a, a stark line between the two, if possible. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Sorry, a little bit more maybe in there, just to streak down. A lot of this is not going to get seen, obviously, with the uh, the wheels being on, but I know it's there. Not that it's going in any competitions or anything like that, it's just built for me. An enjoyable one at that. I'll just take a little bit off this brush again, and we'll just brush it down. Cool. So uh, I shall carry on doing that and see what we come out like. It's, uh, can you see the sort of effect already starting to work with the water and the paint itself? You've got more, you know, running down here. You can then feather it in if you want. Just keep working it until you, you know, until you get what you want. But bear in mind it is acrylic, so you won't have. A great deal of time so that's why I suggest doing it in um, shorter <coughs> sorry uh, in, in, in bits not trying to do the whole thing in one go otherwise when you start to weather so when you start to streak at the very beginning again towards the end you won't be able to because it'll have uh, it'll have dried it's as simple as that so I'll carry on with doing this and when I get back, when it's done, I'll show you, I'll do this one side um, and then I'll get back to you and we'll do, I'll do the other side off camera when we've seen, when we've seen what the end result is going to be on this side first so won't be long, just, just going to finish this off back in a few moments Right, we've got along the side of that, I don't know if you can see the effect there, it's just a, a streaky, muddy, well not muddy but it's, it's going to be dry eventually I'm going to add something else to it now. I'm going to use the dry earth as well, which is uh, another wilder product, which is um, AL05, and it's uh, another um, acrylic best thing. So you use with water again. So basically, what we want to do is just do what we did with the uh, other one. I'm just drag it down again, we're going to keep that a bit more wetter that way, but down here just you can quite see that and then we'll add a bit of water and we'll blend that in there nicely now Again, and just take some more. And we'll come from the top again. So make sure you just do it in small, in smaller sections. Otherwise, it's gonna dry on you, as acrylics do. And so you just blend away until you you what you <laughs> until you know what you want, and then. Uh, So 
I'm going to blend that, that mark across there too much of a straight line. So we shall have to try and blend that in. Bear in mind you're not going to see a lot of it because of the wheels, but even so, I'd still like to, that's a bit better. So again, <coughs> just carry on again. Water again, and just drag it. Again, until you're happy, results you want. Let me see that, alright. I'll work a bit more of that in. Right, so I'll carry on with that and um, when that's done I'll uh, come back to you.